Hello, and welcome to this Info Assist Plus Primer on Filters, which help narrow down the data in your chart, report, or visualization, so you only show the information that matters to you. You can use filters to control the data displayed in your content by limiting the selection to certain fields or selectively excluding them. Filtering works the same in both charts and reports, but visualizations allow you to use the Prompts panel, where you can dynamically pick and choose the fields you want to include, either at runtime or during development. Learn more in the Creating Visualizations video. To create a filter when creating reports or charts, either open the Data tab on the ribbon and click Filter, or drag a field from the Data pane or Query pane to the Filter pane. This creates a WHERE condition, which filters for values satisfying the conditions you set. If you are using an aggregated field, like the average or count of a field, you should use a WHERE TOTAL filter instead. The filter looks for values equal to those that you indicate by default, but you can also exclude certain values by selecting NOT EQUAL TO. The other options have more specific, circumstantial uses. Set a value to filter your data field. The type of value you will use most frequently is a constant, which is a specific value in the filtered field. In some cases, you may need to create a parameter, which is a variable field that can be determined by user selection. Parameters are often involved in more advanced procedures. However, they are heavily used in the auto-linking process. For more information, see the auto-linking video. You can create a parameter by opening the menu and selecting Parameter. You will also need to specify a parameter type depending on how the parameter is defined and indicate whether it is optional. If you are filtering for a constant, you can filter for one value or multiple values. Open the Get Values menu and select All to see all available values. Add the value or values you want to the list on the right by double-clicking them, selecting them and then clicking the arrow in the middle, or by typing the value into the text box above. If you type the values in, make sure that they match the values in your dataset. If the field you're using is a date field, a menu appears instead of a text box. The default value on this menu is today, but you can choose a different date from a list or a custom date from a calendar. Creating a filter for values greater than the specified date will show recent data while creating a filter for values less than the specified date will show older data. The selection you make determines what data appears in your report. If you choose to filter product category for only accessories and media players, you will only see information in your report for those types of products. You can add multiple filters by clicking Insert Before or Insert After. The two filters will, by default, have an OR relationship, so the chart or report using this filter will display values that meet either filter. If you change the relationship to AND, the chart or report will only show values that meet both conditions. When your filters are ready, click OK. If you right-click a filter in the Filter pane, you can edit, delete, or exclude it. Excluding a filter deactivates it for the current report or chart, but it remains available in the Filter pane, so you can include it again later. You can also include or exclude a filter from the Filter group using the options on the Home tab. Filters are a fundamental tool for specifying the data that's relevant and important to you. Learn more using the resources in our Information Center.